Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Barry Tone and today's video I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to fix um, framework drops or some people like to call it FPS drops on the Xenia emulator. But before we get started this video, please make sure guys you like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so first things first. Um first thing you guys I recommend you guys to do is always have up-to-date PC with the latest graphics card and then the first thing you guys should always do is go to the NVIDIA control panel and as you're on the video control panel that do keep in mind that if you guys have a PC a, a more up-to-date PC or a lower end PC or any type of PC you're gonna have these first three um, settings, 3D settings. You may have more settings that come in between um, for your PC, but the most important settings you guys always want to have is the 3D settings with these three um, configuration settings. And then I usually go down to the third one first and enable my graphics card for that. And then we do that. That's an automatic setting. I need to apply it. Um, adjust image settings with preview. Always pick performance over quality. You apply that. Manage 3D settings. Now we're here. My suggesting, my suggest is always have um, vertical sync, aka this is called V-Sync um, off, because that does help try to push it past um, a locked FPS and also everything should be default is good due to the fact that everything is on the most lowest possible resolution to give you that best performance as you possibly can but usually when you put everything off on any type of thing like gaming emulation on PC you usually get the best performance and the best frame rates and you don't experience too much um, drops program settings when you're here just to go to add my we'll ads in here obviously use your graphics card you can always use the global one but i prefer using the graphics card now the global global is same as the first settings same thing v-sync everything that you need should be already default should be good and everything should be on off or the lowest possible settings it possibly can be. And then you basically apply that. Close that out. Next thing, go to configuration settings. And how you open up this, you left click. I use Notepad++ or you can use uh, Notepad. Go down, look for VSync. All right, now you want VSync to turn into false. So you basically type in false. Now for me, I'm not experiencing too much um, frame rate drops due to the fact that it's a certain game I'm playing. Like if you play like something like Red Dead, which is very um, compatible with the Xenia emulator or something like Gears of War, I don't need to turn off VSync. I need, I need to turn VSync into false, but I usually leave it on to true. But if I'm playing a certain game that's a little bit um, I'm appearing a little bit on frame rate drops and it's locked at 30 FPS. Then uh, I put it into false. And then when you put it into false, make sure you go on file, you save as, and then you save it, and then you're basically all set to go. And then you close that out, and then you should be set. Now, if you guys are still experience frame rate drops on the Xenia emulator, is, at this point, it's probably on the game. Maybe it's not at a full, fully, fully playable stage, or the recent Xenia emulator update made the game from playable to unplayable. That happens to a lot of cases with emulation, a lot with RPCS3, where previous games were at full playable state or a somewhat playable state, and then you update to the newest and latest version of the RPCS3 emulator, and it becomes basically unplayable. That happens a lot. That's 
how emulation works when they're still in the stage of they're trying to get everything playable. So yeah, it's normal. Just wait. The best thing is to wait. And sometimes updating your um, graphics card or anything on your PC is, could be very helpful also. So yeah, that's basically about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, find this video any helpful at all, feel free to leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Brayton. I see you guys in the next video. Peace out.